Ba -da -da -da. I'm quite a fan. Yeah, I was checking to see if my mic was working. <laughs> Sorry. <gasps> Hello! <laughs> Hi, it's Kendall here. If you're new around here, welcome. If you're not new around here, what is up, home skillet? biscuit and happy saturday if you don't know what saturdays are saturdays are when i generally do a thing called bad movies in a beat the series on my channel where i talk about bad movies while putting my makeup on but i am not putting my makeup on i am tired i just really wanted to eat churro flavored marshmallows and turn them into a s'more and watch a shitty movie on camera so i don't know what we're we changed the name every three days <laughs> every three videos we changing it to good movies in a glam today is bad movies in a mukbang look at it Look at it. Talk to me nice. We switch up the thing every week. We're always innovating. They're never ready for it. <laughs> that was foul. But it was so good. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a good day. So today, we're gonna be watching some more garbage. Y'all know how I love garbage. I love trash. I'm definitely gonna have chocolate in my teeth while I'm filming this. We're close enough at this point that that should be something you're just okay with. I'm speaking for you, you should just be okay. <laughs> and today we're watching a movie that people have been asking me to watch. Basically, since I started the series, they were like, Kendall, when are you going to watch the Killer Llama movie called Llamageddon? And I've held off on it for nearly two years. So I guess I'm finally biting the bullet today. Before I do that, it's time to pay some bills. Shout outs to Admiral Kenny, who's gonna bring in today's sponsor and had more like elegant food to talk about than um, again, just eating goo on crackers like I'm doing right now. It's good though, but it's not, you know, it's not fancy. Why, hello there, it's Adderall Kenny to let you know that today's video is sponsored by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit delivery service that allows you to make quick, easy, and balanced meals right in the comfort of your own home with meal kits that are sent straight to your doorstep. With easy to follow recipe cards, you're able to get a quick and satisfying meal on your table in about 30 minutes, often less than that. They're pre-portioned ingredients so that you don't have to worry about going out to get that one random ingredient that you'll probably never use again outside of this recipe and you know that you won't be wasting a bunch of food. You can customize things by adding sides, pre-cooked proteins, and desserts. What I really love about HelloFresh is that it just made me a better cook in general and now I have all of these new recipes under my belt. This week was a recipe that was even easier than everything else I've ever done from HelloFresh. It was literally cut a zucchini, cut a pepper, throw everything in a pan with some pasta and butter, this garlicky, herby butter, and it was kind of spicy, it was kind of lemony, it was so good. Mm. And it was nice because I was very stressed out. <laughs> Girl's been busy. I really didn't have the mental capacity to like think of a meal and that's when HelloFresh really comes in clutch. So I was like, oh man, I got this on the table hot. 20 minutes, if that. HelloFresh has donated over 4 million meals to charity in 2020 and have upped their charitable donations. Now that we're going into the second full year of the coronavirus. So if you wanna check them out, feel free to go to hellofresh.com and use code Kenny14 to get 14 free meals, along with free shipping. Big thanks to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. Now let's get on to the debauchery. So last week, by the way, we watched Karen. You're welcome. <laughs> I was one of like three people that actually watched it just to tell you don't watch it, it's terrible. Really long sketch comedy with no jokes in it. My video's funnier, by the way, so if you <laughs> wanna know what happens in the movie, I highly recommend my video, which will be linked up above, or you can check it out in the Bad Movies in a Beat playlist. Okay, so Llamageddon is a movie that is definitely in the umbrella of what I like to call Hear Me Out films. It's been a while since I've talked about a Hear Me Out film. Uh, Hear Me Outs are a term that I give for any film that is basically just so ludicrous that a group of men, probably drunk, and or high got together and was like, what about if this inanimate object started killing people usually? <laughs> but it's usually just things that just sound so ludicrous that you had to convince others to fund it in a way that's like, hear me out. Killer turkeys, killer sofas, a priest that turns into a velociraptor to fight crime with ninjas. Um, and today we're talking about one that people have wanted me to watch for a very long time. And it's called Llamageddon 2015. I've done no prior research and I'm going into this largely blind. I mean, with a name like Llamageddon and the premise of vengeful llamas, I can only imagine how 
<laughs> what will be involved. But uh, let's do a quick wiki search. It's also been a while since I've done a reaction style video. Reaction style videos are fun though. I tend to only do reaction style when I feel like the movie, you won't lose anything by watching it through my eyesight. A killer llama from outer space crash lands on Earth and brings death and destruction to everyone in its path. Okay, so the outer space element, you got me there. I did not see that one coming. Oh, there's a trailer and it's starting on its own. Llama get him. It won things? Wait, stop, it won awards? Oh, they're fake, that's funny. Official rejection from Sundance. Ultimate low budget film award, instant cult classic, winner of most fake awards. Why did we make this film award? All is well with the world, people. Oh, it's on Tubi for free, so that's a great sign. I feel like I'm gonna have to like cleanse myself with a good movie after this. I'm gonna sound very smart. Llamas don't come from eggs, right? No, they're mammals. Okay, no, ignore me. This is so disgusting. <laughs> This is the second intro. <laughs> this is the second title card. We know. <laughs> this is still, we know it's Lamageddon. It's like it's about to rain. Yep. Is this voiceover? You know, whenever I see a movie like this, I start to think that there's kind of like a sh independent movie support group. This is giving me like the bad voiceover acting of like Birdemic. It's the overall preposterous concept of being killed by a bunch of killer tomatoes. <laughs> this is gonna be another stupid question. Are llamas like inherently dangerous? <laughs> Hear me out. You look at cows. I'm like, oh my God, cute little moo moo. Cute little moo moo is dangerous. They got the big feet, they got the big everything, they heavy. Llamas are rather compact, and I don't think that they have a lot of sharp edges to them. They don't have opposable thumbs, so I don't know what they're doing to like shank people in the sleep. Sorry, I'm working off a three hour sleep. <laughs> I am overthinking this. Continue the movie. I just realized this movie's only an hour and eight minutes. But somehow even like Killer Tomatoes was like an hour and a half and it felt like an eternity. Bag them and get them back to base. Ooh, the voiceover. Oh, the voiceover was nowhere near close. Is this like a whole cemetery of people who were a part of llama casualties? <laughs> you should have been there. What was he doing? <laughs> There's something particularly about the low budget horror genre that feels very stuck in 2001. And that's not true. I just lied. I just spoke ill y'all. I'm sorry. Comedy horror <laughs> is largely stuck in 2001. Like you have the nerd, you have the slut, bitch sister. I'm just guessing ahead that she's gonna provide us evidence of her slittery. Maybe a black person is a toss up. That jock may also be the black person. They'll nick two in the bud. Um, or like a white dude named like Jason. <laughs> Let's see what I have correct. Let's go. How old is he supposed to be? I needed another song when people aren't brooding and hot. They're just like a guy who's too old to be 14 in a movie. I need it now. Fine, I'll be nice, whatever. And if he wants to bed, don't make me allow it. <laughs> but mom, you said you wouldn't tell anyone. Oh honey, I'm sorry. Oh my it's God, that, your sister that was a... <laughs> sorry, that was like... <laughs> what the f... Ooh, sorry, that got me. A lot in somebody's nose that I wasn't expecting and Okay, sorry. Why am I asking any questions? This movie is about a killer llama from outer space. I look stupid. I look more stupid asking why anything is taking place. Who cares? We have a house to ourselves. Oh, I forgot. Of course, they're gonna have a house party. Okay. Call everyone. Mom oh my God. said- Boyd, calm down. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna have a couple of people over tonight and you're gonna just have to deal with it. They didn't even try to have it match the time. I'm calling Mark. Oh, hey, hi, Mark. That? This is giving like very Dear Evan Hansen. 28 year old man playing like a 14 year old. <laughs> it's very weird. I have had a lot of people ask me to watch that movie and I just don't think I can do it. <laughs> like I can, I can sit through some shit, obviously. I think you're asking for me to be a superhero and I don't think I have the 
capacity for that. I had so sorry. I I'm I'm just being overstimulated. There's the part where I see him holding this like giant Wookie egg, and then it goes to a screen that just says time lapse, as opposed to actually just saying a time card. And there was no need to show a time lapse. You just go back to the house. My God, this is gonna, I can feel it. This is gonna be up there with Jesus Christ, Vampire Hunter. Oh, can I just talk for a second about how much I hate beer pong? I remember I played beer pong one time. I didn't even know how to actually play it. And then I saw that ball hit that dirty ass, wet ass, grummy ass floor. Uh, are we not gonna wash the ball? And nobody ever washed the ball. And these mother are afraid to get vaccinated. And that just drives me wild. You've been drinking beer boot juice for years and you thought nothing of it. It is that wood that's at my parents' house. This is from like 1973. It's that naughty pine, baby. 1970s weed basement. Oh, it's a, he's a jock and he's black. Look at me. I am psychic. I am taking readings. Cause the last thing I want is for my brother to get herpes and completely be turned off the fun. Um, okay. This is so creepy. The sister is trying to get her nerd brother laid. How old is her brother? I just thought about that. Everything about this just makes me want to run away. I want to run away and never say goodbye. I want to know the truth instead of wondering why. I want to know the answers. No more lies. Did I tell you I was going off at three hours? <laughs> I can do this. She's trying to get her brother, whose age we do not know, laid, but she wants, she's particular about the quality of pussy that she's giving for her brother. It's not funny. It's not funny. It's just not funny. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Beats fire though. Wait, pause. Can I Shazam that? Impact of mind, moon booter. There you go. You're welcome. Hey, sweet cheeks. Remember the last time we both had our drawers down? Why, why, why were you both uh, drawersless? I just, where's the fucking llama, dog? It's just like nothing's funny and nothing's happening. One of the reasons I didn't really sleep much is because I've been a bit of an insomniac the last few days, but you know, if I'm not just in pain from watching this movie, I am deeply exhausted. So maybe this is the key. When is someone going to die? When will someone make their existence in this movie interesting? Finally, a fucking llama, Jesus. And why don't she have her lights on? It's the drama llama. So what does it do? How does it kill people? Is it lasers? It's lasers. <laughs> me. <laughs> that was kind of funny, I'm <laughs> sorry. Finally! That's the first genuine laugh you've gotten out of me. It's so Here painful, me. cause you know, it was just like they had an idea and they were like, now what do we do to make it into a movie? Not everything yeah, needs to be made into a movie. Some concepts do best as a skit, Karen. This shit needs to stop, okay? Was that your whole- What is with the Shyamalan shots? What is with bad movies using Shyamalan shots? Maybe, well, so I guess we're just not gonna get a cohesive story. I should, I should not be a, I should not be. <laughs> I don't know what just happened. I don't know what just, what, what was the sequence of events? That was horrible editing. We have two black people, three black people, four. Oh, there's four black people. They're doing more than usual. Look at the diversity. I've never seen a real person look so much like Shaggy. Why has he changed clothes like three times in this house? <laughs> Why do you have so many costume changes, Beyonce? He changed his shirt again! Did I just catch a joke? A ha ha. That got me. You got me, movie. That was funny. Okay, I'm trying to think of a llama joke. 
And all I can think of is alpacas. That alpaca wallop. <laughs> three hours. <laughs> I'm working on three hours. <laughs> it changed shirts again. Okay, this must be a bit. I'm getting it. Okay, I got it. It's a bit. Ah ha 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 ha. Beer is such a disgusting um, form of alcohol. I've had some that are better than others, but all of it kind of tastes like bread and piss. The fact that it is like a quintessential college alcohol does not surprise me because all alcohol in college kind of tastes like piss <laughs> or what one would imagine it would taste like. Like fireball is cinnamon piss. Smirnoff is potato piss. Sorry, I'm just filling up space because nothing's happening. Another shirt, okay, cool. Again, back to the opposable thumbs thing. How do llamas drag things? I haven't asked enough questions or maybe I'm asking too many. Uh, uh, uh. Ah, ah. Measure your dicks some other time then. I just feel like this whole movie, I just, I only consented to the llama <laughs> I didn't want to see any of the rest of this. Yeah, bring the llama. Bring it back. Because otherwise, I don't know what the f they're doing on screen. Come on, bring a llama. Hoof him to the death. Ew. 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 You ever seen a scene and, and it smells like moldy washcloths? <laughs> you can see the cameraman in the shot. <laughs> okay, that was pretty funny. You can see him just there like... I'm a man now. Chicken. <laughs> Horse head makes sense. We got Bojack in the house. <laughs> and considering this is gonna turn quite dark, it does feel befitting even. I got, Kendall, stop trying to hold it to any standard. You're watching a movie about a murderous llama. Just accept it. Don't ask why anymore. You signed up for this. How did it open the door? I can't help myself, I have to ask. I too am short circuiting. <laughs> I didn't expect that. That, th <laughs> that got me. You, you got me again, movie. This is torturous. I just want it to be over. It's been only 42 minutes. Oh my God. Is it acid? What is it? Is his face burning? Oh. Is he turning into it? Is he turning into a... That's what I did not expect. This is a movie just made off of pizza and a dream. And a lot of weed. Oh, the black girl lasted this long. I'm surprised. When did they switch over to animation? Oh my god. No! No! What is it? This is not fun! This is not fun! No. I don't- I don't understand what I just watched. It's a goddamn space stick. I think it's a weapon. <laughs> Why would an extraterrestrial being come to Earth with the one thing that can kill them? We don't call them aliens. We call them extraterrestrials. Or rather, ETs. We gotta be polite and reasonable to the alien, uh, the ETs. We gotta be respectful, according to Demi Lovato. They are indeed the the alien or extraterrestrial ambassador, or something. Does he even know that something gun worthy is happening at the, he just came with his gun? Why do you just touch things with bare hands? Why are you just touching miscellaneous goo? It's giving birth. Again, you catch me, you get me sometimes. Oh, he's having twins. This has been the longest hour of my life. Kill me! <laughs> he didn't even contemplate. He's like, oh, well. <laughs> He's like, well, if you say so, you know, I've always wanted to be of service to my fellow man, you know. And I'm proud to call you my man brother, Floyd. I'm really proud to call you a man, a little man brother. Man has a mortgage. What are you talking about? No. <laughs> little man, the f How is he still alive? Ate your jugular. You don't even have an Adam's apples anymore. How are you still alive? 
I want you to know that you were always my favorite. I didn't even have to watch the whole movie. I could have just listened to the song. It's telling me everything that happened in it. Lama tell you, your pussy got me going insane. I'm a hit it from the front, llama like I like that. I'm a hit it from the back. Stimulate my llama sex. <laughs> Special thanks to the Llama Association of America, Bush Brewing Company, Taco Bell, the Dalai Lama, Miami University. No llamas were hurt during the production of this film. Just the dignities of all involved. So that's an hour I'll never get back. Still better than Killer Tomatoes. And it threw me some curveballs. So for that, I have to give it its flowers or hay or whatever it is the llama eat. Okay, I'm gonna go now. If you like this video, <laughs> feel free to like this video. Follow me on all my social media, Instagram, Twitter, both of which are Kenny JD. If you'd like to leave me any other bad movies I should watch, feel free to put them down in the comment section. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.